Welcome to another Field of Glory 2 Medieval Battle. This is round one of five, the first Slytherian official tournament for the game. In this match against GFS, I have the Normans against English 1066. So, the English army is pretty limited in its options. Only a few light spear cavalry. Solid superior heavy infantry in the form of the Oscarls. Armored offensive spearmen. A fairly poor skirmisher wing peasants and raw spearmen which are horrible although cheap uh, the map is narrow and there's a strong defensive position in the back should my opponent choose to use it uh, for example he could deploy between here and here onto this hill so very narrow or maybe stretch out onto this hill but either way I expect that it's likely we'll be taking the offensive as Normans. Uh, with that in mind, we will grab a light archers. We at least want skirmisher parity, even if we don't choose to invest in mass missile troops, although I probably will. Then the question becomes, do we want mounted knights or dismounted knights? And I probably would go with the mounted variety for the impact. Grab Master Archers and Crossbowmen, although maybe we want them on the wing more. Seize this hill if possible. Okay. Now, do I also want Dismounted? A mix is probably not a bad idea. Ninety points remaining. That is an awkward number. Uh -huh. Looks like we'll have to do some reshuffling. Okay, we've zeroed it out by including unit peasants. They're kind of useless, but if there's combat in the forest at all, uh, we could use them there. Otherwise, they can hang back. In our command groups, it's. I'd say that's fine. I'm not going to worry about it. Okay, let's see that force comp and deployment. Eventually. Armored spearmen in the center, huskarls in reserve, some raw spearmen in the wing. Right, well, we will respond with a uh, cunning and subtle head on advance. Very good. Next turn. Let's see what's close range. Stay just out of it. Might need to shift our line over to make up for the narrowing right there, which shouldn't be a problem. Onward. Next turn. Well, let's advance to skirmishing range then. Shift these dismounted knights and sergeants over. These 
two archers and these crossbowmen can move with these knights to shred these lightly protected troops. Well, protected, but comparatively. Next turn. Okay, got to take some fire now. Not a huge deal. Crossbowmen over to shoot at the armored troops and get the archers over to rain arrows and these raw spearmen, maybe. Next turn. I'll just ignore these guys. And they are tempting though, just three units. Maybe we can just go take care of them quickly. Leaves a bit of a gap in our line, that's unfortunate, but we don't have to advance much further yet. Here, just run them down, they'll evade because we have knights nearby. Unfortunately, it did not lead to a catch in either situation. There. got here? Spearmen and Huskarls. Spearmen. Yeah, get one more unit of knights over. And peasants can assist in attempting to outflank these guys. There, we'll flank, what, six? Maybe even seven units of these three and overwhelm them. Next turn, rally on some lights, not a big deal. Ah. Uh, well, that's fine, we will just work on disruptions. Leave the knights for the moment. Well, why not? Ah, I don't know if there's stuff lurking here or here. I don't want to get too carried away yet. All right, more knights to that wing. I'm gonna break here. No? Let's do it the old fashioned way then. Good, a disruption, maybe catch them? Not quite. 
could charge with the cavalry and run them down, but that I'm afraid we'd pursue somewhere very, very bad. Uh, gonna have some discipline. Am I? No, no, I'm not. It's too tempting. Hopefully we'll just charge into them and then bounce off. No problems. Keep leading with the knights. With infantry in support. Gaps to fall back in between. I'm going to sit here, but I'm not going to shoot. I'm just going to sit here. So if we do choose to shoot it next turn, then we have the stationary shooting bonus. If he falls back, that's fine with me. Next turn. Hopefully we don't do anything stupid. I mean, that's fine. Oh, we might have to uh, follow it up. Nope, good. That's where I want it to go. Knights on the way, or Huskarls on the way, rather. Not knights, but it was knights, I would actually be worried. Good. Go. There. Then turn. So now, if he charges downhill and pushes me back, I get a flank. Meantime, let's. Go here and try bouncing off. Or just disrupting them. That's good too. Cover the flank. And what? Move forward? Not yet, but soon. Alright, you. These crossbowmen up. Next turn we'll open up with both units and start inflicting some casualties. Go for that. And prepare to follow up. Ah, no way I can reach them, huh? Here, shove these off. Shove those off, too. That's fine. Now we can start being irritating, I suppose. Might get him to do something silly. Oh. Why not? Peasants work towards this rough and slowly arc around. I could engage in some kind of charge, but that seems unnecessary. Just be ready. Next turn. Most unfortunate. Ah, that kind of makes up for it, though. to those archers. Oh, charging against the dismounted knights? Yeah, 
not not a great idea. Okay, well, the frag was unfortunate, but we'll get the automatic cohesion drop and recover the situation with the break. Peasants into the rough. Get a break. And straight into the raw spears, which disrupt. Very good. Push towards the mounted Huskarls. And here we can fill them with crossbow bolts. No cohesion check though. Try for impact. We bounce, go back. No big deal. Shuffle these archers to the wings. And again, try for impact and bounced. Very nice. Um, get the hell out of the way, thank you. And that's actually tempting. It could break them. But ultimately, I think it wouldn't be a very safe play. Bounce. Advance. And bounce. Good. Held firm, held firm. Okay. Charge in. Double drop. They're raw after all. Break. Held firm. Huskarls will drive in now. Let's pile on to this disrupted unit. That's everyone. Going pretty well. Next turn. That's right, don't come back. It won't end well for you. Nice, they bounce off, it's not a big deal. Oh, that'll keep us stuck in, and I'm guessing they'll cover with this unit? Yeah, so hopefully we break the frag unit soon. Or else things could get a bit unpleasant. You'll have to lock us in here or else the flank is open. Come on. Damn, they are superior with the general exerting its influence. Bold move. Worked out. He can't get the zone of control. Some of our knights might be in trouble then. Oh. <laughs> Very good. Uh, turn. Then go for a break. Yeah, and then follow through. Yes, please. Delightful. Maybe cause a break. I said maybe cause a break. Yep. Well, things are looking up. Let's um, shoot. And again. And while we could shoot again, I think I will do something slightly scummy or maybe more than a little scummy. Block our fallback so we can charge in and then get a flank off. Most dishonorable, I know. Okay, next up, 
could try for an impact charge here, why not? Nope. Bounce. Hmm, what about you? Could try for impact, or we could start working our way around. Threaten this flank, that seems better. Excellent. So we got the. What? Troop quality plus 50. There we go. Good. Now we will deny the charge. We can even charge in ourselves here so that if he does charge, then we will just flank them. Yeah, so go ahead if you want, because it's not going to end well for you if you do that. Now let's get a volley in. Good. Finish this. Nope, guess not. You keep back. That's 40, so if no rallies happen, that's game. So GFS says, you've massacred my army, GG, but I made too many mistakes, dividing my troops and keeping my best units in reserve. They didn't have the time to enter in the battle. Yeah, I mean, he pointed it out before I could. Um, the Huskarls should have been in the front. They could have been a hard crust to the line and protect the squishier troops inside. Uh, dividing the troops, yeah, the hill to the north. It was a pretty strong position, but, you know, three units and two lights against two mass archers and two knights and a spear and the peasants coming up, the numbers were just too much. He said, good luck in the next round of the tournament. Very generous, and I appreciate that. It's nice when people are good sports. So... Uh, to reiterate his point, uh, you can see that his best troop, the Huskarls, one, two, three, four, five, are barely touched. I think one of them has lost one figure, and the rest have not really engaged seriously in the fighting. So the brunt of the fighting fell on his armored spearmen, which are perfectly good troops, but they can't really stand up to the dismounted knights and sergeants, and they will eventually disrupt in the face of knightly charges. The Huskarls are also at something of a disadvantage against knightly charges, but they do get the 50 POA from Superior, and of course being Superior gives them those extra cohesion check rolls, making them able to stand their ground longer. And yeah, this hilltop position is a perfectly strong position, but it was isolated. Maybe if some more cavalry support had been nearby, or if this position had been linked, then things could have been a little bit more troublesome for me here. So a good game to GFS, and I too wish him luck in the next round of five rounds, I believe, of the tournament. Good game. Till next time.